Hello. Well, hey, Are you ready, Colin? How's how's it going today? Uh, don't don't whistle to go back. You're uh, you're gonna. No, no, I'm, I'm, I haven't stop. done my intro. Are we? Oh, are we, are we oh, can't. Oh, oh my oh, god, I, I mean, hate this fire. What, what's I up, guys? This is Heist, and today we're playing Railroads Online with my buddy Khan, and today he gets to steal my intro. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Look, wow, that wow, hasn't even me, happened yet, I don't think. Gave me an intro. I um, did. You're oh, welcome. Oh, we got, uh, we bought some coal cars. We bought two we extra did. hoppers. We have two more hoppers, so we got eight hoppers, and honestly, seeing the Glenbrook with eight hoppers behind it is kind of awesome. This is a great looking <laughs> train. This um, is, so yeah, we have eight hoppers. Yeah. We're gonna go up to the coal mine, so we're gonna need the helper. We do have the. Uh, we're gonna the gear at least train at there. least one helper, if not. I guess they're empty. You know, they're but, empty. They're uh, empty. Right? Man, the empty coal hoppers are, or the hoppers in general are still pretty heavy. I wanna say they're like thirteen thousand a piece, I think. Let me check. Yeah, right. thirteen thousand two hundred. So they're like one and a half flats. Yeah, that might Dude, get we're interesting. We're cruising we'll with like only 20% rank. Like, Dude, we're like Glenbrook's a speedy boy. If you've been yeah, it with Glenbrook. Like it I'm going to. Anything. I'm, I get to laugh at you for the rest of the time if you bin it with the Glenbrook, dude. Like seriously. Why? It's the because only engine that you can bin it with just by going straight. It's not the only one. It's one of like I think two or three. But uh, well, the boss guy can do it too, right? Giving, uh, keep giving me crap about it. So. Uh, how much? How much? Uh, how much money do you have? Let me look, because I just bought the two hoppers with my money. I have only eleven hundred and five dollars now, so yeah, we're down okay. low again. Nice broke. I have been told that we probably should skip the Mosca because the Mosca's broken apparently by viewers on my channel, which is a bummer. What do you mean broken? Like it the, doesn't uh, run the at all? The front, uh, the front link hook or uh, the front drawbar for double heading yeah. doesn't work, and apparently there's no firebox UI or something, so clients can't put fire in it or something. Uh, oh, so it sounds like a uh, solid pain in the butt. So we should probably go for a different goal for an engine. Uh, okay, until well, then we're getting the, two eight, the 280 cook. Like, I mean, that's the... The cookie. The cookie 280. I mean, there's the cookie 230, but the like... The 260, yeah. Or 260. I don't know why I said three. But we, yeah, but it's, only got, it's only got three wheels on the one side, uh, and then it just... Well, it, we could uh, do axles, and it could have been a, a 10-wheeler then, but yeah. Two, yeah, anyway. it. Uh, yeah, so we could go for the 260. It would make sense to get the 260 before we did the 280, but... But you know. the 280 is new, and we haven't gotten... Yeah, I know. It looks pretty, too, and it's nice and big. Yeah. A little bigger. Sizable, decent amount of tractive effort. All good stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I think... Uh, that might be a nice goal. Um, there's a player model that's clipping through the track, super far back at the end of the train. Um, Probably me, but did I'm. Did you teleport in the cab. out? No, I'm in the cab on my screen. Oh, okay, because yeah, <laughs> that was so a little see strange. Another player model floating. There's there. another player model that was just floating and just fell through. It's fine. Um, so today, Heist, I uh, I have a I finished my secret that we talked about last time. You finished um, the secret. All right. I finished the secret. It took me way too long to build, but I did build the secret. So we have an alternate route to the coal mine. Really? Um, yeah, I built an alternate route. So we had talked about building a route that goes down uh, over that mountain pass by the coal mine. So I built that route, but we're going to go up the 10% because that's the way we're heading, obviously. Okay. And then we'll come down that route. And, uh, you know, we could so, go up or down that route. So it is a, yeah. you're telling me that... I you built, built a route. roller coaster because we're still no, going no, up the ten percent. No, well, we go up the ten percent, yeah. So, yeah, like, if you true. built if you built a shallower railroad to the coal mine, we should have gone up that way. Than well, that's this true. Way. That's true. But this is but we're empty, so it doesn't matter. We're oh, fine. okay. So you did not build a roller coaster. I mean, yeah, and my, theoretically, my hopes we could. And dreams are ruined. We could delete the ten percent run, but like, I don't want to. Because it's like you might as well. It just is leave a vibe. It. It is, it is a vibe. Yeah, I for sure. I feel like people wouldn't use it, but like, you'll see. Okay. I don't know. So, you'll, you so we're going to run we'll up to the 10%, go. get to the coal mine, load up with coal, and then you've made some other route that uh, I'm not privy yeah, to. Goes down. Yeah. A lot of my subscribers were guessing as to what it was uh, in oh, the yeah, comments. Uh, some people thought it would be a roller coaster. Some people thought it would be switchbacks. Um, uh -huh. I don't really know what it is. Like, we actually haven't even talked about it. Like, you said that you were working on something. Well, I just, it but, took like, it took, it 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 took like uh probably five six seven maybe ten hours to build maybe ten um, that's fine i think it's i think it's more track than all the rest of the track on the entire server put together oh so it is yeah. switchbacks by that uh, by that moniker then it's, huh it's a lot of it's a lot of track <laughs> i don't know how much you're gonna enjoy it it's, We're gonna it's see either how switchbacks long it or it's like the doggiest dog bone that ever dog boned. It's just, it's just a lot. It's a very impressive. It looks I great. built a I'm, quarter percent line to the coal mine. You know, it's not quarter percent. <laughs> it, it's uh, it's 2% oh, okay. for most of it. Okay. 
and uh, you don't realize how high up the coal mine is until, like, look at, okay, look at from here, right? We go over that mountain ahead of us, Yeah. Right? By the time yeah. we get up to 10% nonsense, we're over that. Like, how stupid is that, you it's know? It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. So. It's pretty, it's pretty freaking dumb. And then to get down from there back to where we were at the, at the, Yeah, um, and we're already, well, I yeah. guess we're lower right now, though, because we're in the Smelter Valley level height. Which is lower yeah. than Freight Depot, right? It's so. still, still, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. It's pretty nerdy. Anyway, I'm gonna let you come out with uh, standing by there. It's standing just, by. It's standing by at the ready. We probably need right? Right. I, I do need. Does it to tell put us? Some okay, hold on. I'm gonna look up right now. Locomotives. If I go to hopper cars, they weigh thirteen thousand pounds each. So combined, these are like what? Uh, hundred and four thousand oh pounds. The, the slipping. Yeah. Um, so hundred four thousand pounds. We're good. That sounds about just, right. Yeah. Yeah. With just the climax, we'll be fine. Oh yeah, the climax should do almost that just by itself, or around that you, just by itself. Yeah, you might Assuming be able to actually. Assuming that it can one hundred percent reg, but you know. Well, don't use your sand on the six percent. Right. Wait until you get Man. to the, the iron mine and then use your sand. Man, so they because uh, you, you can only pull like eighty percent reg now. You'll be fine. You know. Wait. What? What? What, what happened? What in the... Did you bin it? No. I'm having some serious client desync where uh, when I walk forward, the Climax is in the engine house. Um, it is not. Um, Do you oh, see the Glenbrook oh, in no, the right spot? No, okay. It resynced now. You'll have to watch my POV for that little chunk. Um, I literally like would be at the switch stand. There was no engine. And then I would walk into the cab of the Climax, and it would still be in the engine house. That's a new one well, for me. Well, you know, you just it's need fine. to move into my guest bedroom, and then... Oh, dude, you can have... make the Climax roll coal! Look at this! Yeah, that's how that works. Wait, Yeah. What? Look at this! Look at all the smoke! Look all, at all the, the smoke! <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Because <laughs> we're wheel slipping uh, super it, hard. It's literally synced to the uh, RPM of the... Oh yeah, my god, that's, dude, that's so much um, smoke. That's really dumb. Okay, so wood burners actually burn like a lot less black Dunk. smoke. Then it's, it's more. No, yeah, wood burners don't make black smoke. Black smoke is a coal it's burner like thing. It's like gray smoke. It's very, it's very brown actually. Um, like think of sure think of thing. a big roaring campfire with your friends. Yeah, isn't, it, isn't and that smoke then that's like just white gray. I mean, you get a little bit of gray, yeah, but it's definitely, uh, it's definitely in the gray brown territory. Right. It oh does God, seem. Chuff okay, so. It does seem like the chuffs are synced to the crankshaft on this, which is nice, better than the Glenbrook, so. And they, and it, so you, a gear train would literally be chuffing that fast. Oh yeah, they chuff s stupid fast. I guess the cylinders are a lot smaller though, so it's not really like. Well, I mean, it's all about, think about how fast you're trying to reverse the piston. That's right. really what the speed of a steam engine comes down to is how fast can you take that weight of piston and make it go the other direction? Uh, and it it's sounds like only you're just, so fast. Uh, it sounds like you're doing a burnout and not actually pulling. I have 50% reg, so yeah. Okay. I'm I'm Are doing you... what I can, and yeah, good God, this thing leaves a smoke trail. It's kind of fun. All right, I'm I'm not on my reg just yet. I want to like make sure you have grip before we. Sure. The thing there that I'm go. realizing not now um, is that the uh, the whistles don't have reverb anymore. Oh yeah, what? Which is weird. That's that's not a positive change. <laughs> All right, well we're cruising. And good God, the climax oh my God, just dude, the, look at the black the, smoke. The black cloud smoke. I mean, feels more. It feels more like we're railroad so, now. So so this is just abhorrent waste of fuel, and I've never seen smoke this black come out of even a coal burner. Really, like this looks like an oil burner when you're against the light. This looks like an oil burner with the firing valve wide open, which absolutely will dump smoke like this, but no wood burner can make smoke like this, and a coal burner only makes smoke like this if it's just the worst fire in the world that's not breathing. So normally if you have like like a coal fire, it'll produce a little bit of black smoke, but a lot of it's just like so clean air. It depends, or like, it depends on how the fire is burning. It, that's entirely the whole thing. So like any smoke, is the sign that the fire is not burning efficiently. And sometimes you, you have to burn a little extra uh, and push it a little harder sometimes with some trains and some draft setups and whatever. But if you have the perfect locomotive and you have the perfect fire on any fuel type, it is a clear stack. 
Right. So, you know, the, the, the reality of it comes in with, like, the solid fuels like wood and coal. If you have a clear stack, you're burning completely, um, and you're about to be burning, like, not as hot as you need to be. And so you almost always have to load it up a little bit more so that it's burning with a slight haze. And so a lot of and, the firemen... And the reminder, like, the, the chuffing comes from the fact that the cylinders discharge steam into the stack... Yes, through a designed nozzle that causes a normal shock wave in fluid right. mechanics through the stack, and that is the actual chuff sound you get. And that's to help aid with the suction that, of the, the yes. smoke and everything through yes. the firebox. That and, draws a vacuum in the smoke box that draws through the tubes, through the fire, reinvigorates the fire, and makes the fire burn insanely hot. I mean, it's incredible right. how hot it burns. Uh, and so if, with even a coal burner... If you got good draft, the fire goes clean, the stack goes clean. It's a measure of a good fireman how clean your stack is, you know, within certain reason. Uh, you have to be able to have some sort of steady state to achieve that. Uh, for us at the Railroad Museum, we go uphill, then we go downhill. So you have a clean stack on the uphill, and it spews a little smoke on the downhill, and, and no one's going to get away from how, that, really. How does a fire become less efficiently burning like, okay, so the basic rule of fire is you have fuel plus oxygen produces flame, right? Fuel, oxygen, heat creates flame, right? Fire triangle. Yes. And inefficient combustion comes when, like, pure, perfect combustion is carbon, um, you know, plus oxygen. It creates CO2, dioxide. yes, rather than right. incomplete, which rather than carbon CO. monoxide. Yeah. And then whatever other chemicals you have in the material that you're burning mixed in with all that and blah, blah, blah. There's right. a lot of... But, like... With a steam locomotive, how come coming downhill, like, you haven't, you won't, if you know you're about to go on a downhill, you're not going to add fuel to the fire. So, like, why is it, why does it all of a sudden burn inefficiently? Like, I don't so, understand. So, here's the fun. You have to set the fire to burn efficiently for the blast nozzle pressure or the, uh, the back pressure of the engine so that you're providing enough steam so that you're not losing steam on the uphill. Because remember, if you lose too much steam, you're causing temperature cycles in the boiler, which is heat fatigue. So you have to have enough fire to keep the steam pressure relatively consistent on the upgrade. And then on right. the downgrade, you're no longer using that giant volume of steam that you were. And you can't take the fire out of a coal burner. You can't remove the coal. And so if you didn't burn it all the way down to the level that it's going to be consuming when there's just nothing. Uh, we need to I got to jump out. Yeah, I'm, I shut off my rig. I'm, I jumped out. So if you break I'm a little breaking. bit, I can grab it. Yeah, you can get back on it. Um, if you haven't burned down to that level of it barely consuming anything, uh, you know, you, you're not going to be happy with what your fire is doing. So it becomes inefficient because... The but second you, you shut the you throttle, just let the fire like so like your cylinders are consuming less steam on the way down. I understand that. Yep. But wouldn't you just let your boiler like like your fires? You've stopped adding fuel to the fire, so your fire is still burning. It's still going to heat up water in the boiler. We still going to get we stop a adding max. fuel. Wouldn't it just, wouldn't we don't it just add blow the relief valve of the boiler though. Like you'd be like, I'm not using as much steam. It fills the boiler with too much steam. Pressure yes, builds. Yes, but that's opening goes. that's opening a three inch hole in the boiler. Right. That makes an extremely loud noise that pisses off your neighbors and everyone who's around so you, you. Oh, so you just don't want to do it. So you don't want to do it. And it and it's wasting. It's wasting coal. It's wasting water. It's wasting everything to blow the safety valve. So yes, right, you could do all that, that but energy that goes to nothing. Exactly. And so when you do get to the top, I mean, you try and engineer it such that, okay, they shut off, they're no longer using steam, I no longer have my fire drafting, which is why the smoke changes. It's not because we haven't used the steam, it's because we've stopped drafting the fire, because we are now going downhill and the pistons are not causing this big forceful exhaust, and the snifters open, and, and we're no longer drafting the fire. Are you at 100% right now, or no? I am at 100% with sand, yes. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure if we actually had needed it or not. Yeah, no, we're we're at a hundred percent, hundred percent with sand, and man, this is uh, this is kind of awesome looking. This is great. Look this at the is, amount of smoke, though. I can't even see like most uh, of the cars back this, there. It's this just... amount of smoke is entirely unrealistic for anything wood burning and coal burning. Still, like this, this is the worst fireman in the world. I mean, I guess if your fire does burn for an entire century, like in the game, I mean, I guess it makes sense. But okay, um, so fine. so. You get to the top of the hill, you're coming down the hill, you turn off your reg, you turn off your fire, whatever else, all that stuff, right? You stop all that, okay? Um, you 
let your boiler like it's gonna it's gonna push pressure into the cylinder. I still don't understand how that makes blacker smoke. Like well, it's... that's because you you've lost the exhaust pressure. Your fuel your fuel is there. To burn. Oh, you're not you're not pulling as much oxygen. You're not through pulling the fire through the anymore. oxygen. As soon as you shut the throttle, oh, so the, the smoke goes black. The oxygen mix is all off. Yeah. It's too much. You fuel, lose the oxygen oh, right away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. It's nothing to do. See, with they the just steam. need a turbo yeah. fan that they can turn on them, like a little electric turbo. Well, fan. Well, we have this thing called the blower, which is a valve that dumps steam directly out that you can use. But again, the boiler. It, out of the boiler, directly out the stack, and it creates a like a, a continuous draft. Right. Out of uh, out of the boiler or out of the boiler out the stack instead, which can draw the fire. But I mean, you don't want to be building steam because your steam demand has gone too. Oh God! Oh, oh Con! Yeah, please, what the hell the is that? <laughs> Con! No! no! Please don't look to the right. Please no! keep your eyes on the left for this tour. No! Oh my! Okay, well, I'm just gonna ignore that that exists, and I'll be please, mad about please it keep later. Keep your eyes on the left for the tour. Uh, you can disconnect from me now, actually. Uh, uh, so I got rid of the I got rid of the little extra lane we had. So you have to just back down onto that lane and let me pass, and then you can go back okay. up and go back. All right. To the well, bye, friends. Um, I guess I will go. Go back to the helper and then teleport yeah. to the Holbein, and oh I'll uh, I'll meet god. you there. Oh my god, dude! You're gonna have to stop because I'm gonna have to. I'm on full break. Here. Uh, I guess I can go full reverse as well. This is down like three percent still, right? So it's still a little bit, but I'm okay. Uh, I put the climax in reverse, and it's uh it doesn't look like it's in reverse. Okay. Um. I put the climax in reverse. Uh, sir, Good. it is not. You <laughs> it's might just have to just, smoke. just teleport to the coal mine, and I'll just wait here for you. You'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll uh, I'll just meet it on that side. Um, yeah. I guess while I'm preventing uh, accidental Kenoshas, Khan, we're we were like I don't know, probably 20 minutes into recording this episode, and I forgot mm -hmm. to ask you about four and a half cars and the five horsepower motor. Oh yes, five, which was your your motor. your dangling question from uh, the last episode, like last time we had right. me and the drunk grizzly bears. So so oh. cool thing is five horsepower is is you know we we talk about like you were talking about how horsepower doesn't matter in in trains in that episode a while ago and you know it, it kind of got me thinking because horsepower really you know everyone always thinks that horsepower is just like if i have more horsepower i have more more pulling power right and that's not true at all um you know it is to an extent i mean i'm gonna get crucified again here by all the car people yeah, but like I mean, yeah. you know horsepower isn't just like this great oh my god magical... this thing's going fast <laughs> It isn't just some magical formula where it's like more horsepower is always going to be beneficial. So anyway, there's this five horsepower motor, right? And this five horsepower motor was designed to pull um, a cable in a factory. Every, pretty much every factory I've ever worked in, they're always using conveyor belts or conveyor chains, right? And so you have this really long chain that goes around a, a giant conveyor line. And the chain is going to be, you're talking a chain that's like two or three kilometers long, and each link probably weighs about 100 pounds. Good heavens. Right? So that's like, like a serious duty it's chain. Millions of, it's millions of pounds because it's moving a lot of weight. Like, let's say you have 100 cars on an assembly line, you know, even a car with none of the engine parts in it, just the frame and the metal, you're talking thousands of pounds. Like, it's a thousand pound thing getting dragged by chains that weigh millions of pounds. Like, the whole thing is a massive assembly, right? So anyway, so we had this one chain where, where I worked, and it had a series of cars. And the the cars were dragged on the chain through a wash process. Like, basically, every place I've worked at, if you're painting something, you have to wash it first. You wash it with, like, very, very high-pressure nozzles. We're talking, like, three, four, five hundred PSI minimum. Surface like, prep is important. Yeah, basically, it basically, um, it'll flash rust metal. So it, it scrapes off such a layer off the surface of the metal that the metal will instantly start to oxidize. So the instant it comes out of that, you have to basically like dip the whole car. Anyway, there's a whole process to it. It's all very, I, I don't I don't know how hush hush it all is, but everyone has a different process. Anyway, big freaking five horsepower motor. That's all it is, five horsepower. But it spins very, very, very slow. And it goes through a giant reduction gearbox. So this line will move this million pound chain at less than a kilometer an hour, right? Now, every motor in the world that I've ever worked with in industrial applications has an over-torque fault. And the over-torque fault is a really simple, I don't know how it works. I, I think it uses like voltages or something to look like, hey, I'm giving it power and I'm not seeing movement on the encoder. 
Um, like a motor has an encoder so it knows what position it's in. Anyway, long story short, a motor will have an overtorque fault, which basically is like, hey, I'm stuck, I can't move, like something's wrong, so I'm gonna shut off. And that's what they do, right? Okay. So this motor, five horsepower motor, we're, 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 you know, normal day, whatever, and we get this call and we're like, hey man, the, the motor's got an overtorque fault on this assembly line. And we're like, okay, so like, you know, the chain must have gotten stuck or something or whatever, and it's stuck. So... We're looking through the assembly line and we see like car on the chains, car on the chains, car on the chains. Gap, gap, gap. Okay. Gap, no cars. And we're like, well, this makes no sense. Where are these cars that are supposed to be on this chain? So it was inside one of these big washing units that like washes the cars. And I guess one of the cars clipped something in the washing unit and oh, got no. stuck. And then the car behind it pushed into it. And then the car behind it pushed into it. And then the car behind it pushed into it. And then finally, like, half the other car pushed into it. Before <laughs> finally, this five horsepower motor was like, you know what? I've had enough. It's an overtorque fault. And it threw the fault. And sure enough, it was literally, like, it looked like these five car bodies had hit at full speed on a high. Like, they were crumpled into oh each other. Oh, my God. Like, like, thousands of pounds of metal just squished into, like, a pancake as if uh, by a five horsepower motor. That's and insane. that's why five horsepower is much stronger than you think it is. That's because the motor is moving so absurdly slow, and it's powered. It's anyway, got you're, a crazy gear you're, ratio. You're, and all sorts you of are stuff, right? you like, are good to like take it ahead, friend. I am in the clear now. But, uh, yeah. yeah, you gotta. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta go past you before you yeah. get to the helper. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, that's sorry, but the five horsepower motor. It yeah, was, like that's the that's the whole thing. People are like, well, it's just torque and horsepower, and it's like, well, I mean, yeah, it doesn't yes, really go that yes, way. but no, but yes, but no. I mean. You know yeah so well, that was a good things. that was a good time we had to like it took like two and a half shifts just to cut everything out like you just you didn't have a oh choice my you cut God. it yeah i mean you just gotta cut the car i mean it's scrapped at that point right that's oh yeah there's yeah there's yeah there's nothing you can do uh, god this thing is just a burnout machine dude and when it burns I out know, I mean, the, the it, amount it, of smoke I'm, I'm so mad that gear trains don't let you just put it in full speed. I had actually someone in my Discord was talking about that, and I was like, yeah, it would be nice if you could use gear trains, like just put it in full speed, and it'll never spin, like the wheel will only ever spin this fast, because that's what it would do. Like it wouldn't, you know. So I had some people talking about the fact that they'd seen geared engines wheel slip uh, in the comments, which I'm, I knew it was a thing. Um, I was surprised to hear how common it was, but I mean, at the end of the day, like, if we're talking realism, you never open the reg on a steam engine straight the heck open, unless you've got right. absolute tonnage everything. But um, in this game where the steam sim and the power application sim is just so not even there, like, why are you going to make this one that is the best engine in the game by pulling power. Like, why are you going to cripple it with that? It doesn't make sense. Do gear engines, um, do gear, so I know like we talk about regular locomotives, their timing is driven by the Johnson bar, a series of levers and bars underneath based off the wheel rotation, the axle rotation. Do gear engines work the same way? Like pistons move based on the axle rotation? Gear engines work the same way, but it's based off of the, uh, the actual, like bef prior to the gear reduction, and the, so the drive, drive shafts, axle. so it's the drive axle and everything. So you can look at the climax um, on my screen, and you can see the valve gear doing the dance, um, and right. it's not animated correctly, but that's okay. But it's Stevenson valve gear based off the drive axle, and then that's geared down. And I have a great video on my channel um, of the Heisler that I got to film up and close in Nevada at the Great Western Steam Up with Stevenson valve gear, and you get to see oh yeah, this is just a V-twin with Stevenson valve gear for the two different things. And, uh, you know, once you understand that, you go, oh no, this totally makes sense now. Whereas before, you you see the pistons being in weird spots and you see all the stuff and you're like, oh God, that doesn't make any sense. But as soon as you kind of process the parts and go, oh wait, no, that's that's actually how that works. It actually becomes really easy to understand. So uh, definitely nice. worth a little click. So, All right, I'm gonna start loading at the coal mine. I'm here. All right, yeah, uh, I just made it to the crest of the uh, the ten percent, and uh, the air brake on the climax seems pretty good. So I was able; it was oh, slowing pretty quick when I hit ten percent. But sorry, what'd you say? Coal is cubed. It's cubed coal. Oh yeah, no, I think that's how that's been. Yeah, it's fine. I, I like to order cubes of coal. 
Yeah, man, that's how you guys do it at the museum, right? You just get those <laughs> we coal get cubes. cubes. Like yeah, we get those cubes, cubes, but coal. So you say that, um, and here oh we my go. God, does it actually come in like a coal, we, like a brick? We do not get cubes. We get uh, truckloads of coal, usually like 20 or 21 tons at a time, imperial tons. Like a dump truck just comes big in. Big dump truck coal. comes, dumps the coal. I mean, and it's a big semi-trailer, right, uh, dump truck. And that's what we get at a time, and that will last us a decent amount of time, depending what, on. What you just having a big pile okay. out back, and then like we've got. Like a if I wanted some free coal, I could just come raid the museum for free coal. <laughs> is that? Uh, no, I mean the museum is closed and locked, and has gates and fences all the way around and all that stuff. But yes, we do have a, a pocket of coal. Uh, I accidentally overfilled one is. coal. So now we have sixty nine coal instead. Oh, of so 70. the the coal doesn't auto load. I actually haven't checked that. I guess I could leave you one. You should try that. We should try that. Now that I've already wasted one coal anyway, we've got nine extra coal to waste, so I might as well yeah, see what I happens think if I just pull it. Worth the experiment, you know, see what happens. Yeah, I mean but I've yeah. already wasted a coal. I was doing the speed loading technique, but yeah, right. I'm gonna pull it I'm gonna pull it down past the See what the auto load does. Yeah. Past the point, see if it stops it. So I pulled it all the way down. So this should go to six fifty nine and then it should so, I'm stop. folks did tell me that you can gamify the autoloading cranes now okay. in my comments. So if you click them right after they drop the product, they reset. Oh, yeah, it resets the crane so to the you default. Can, you can yeah, load you can faster load. if you if you if Yeah, you I found some. that out the other day when I was getting a thumbnail. I was like, oh, look, you can stop it mid, mid animation and then start it back up. And it's like, uh, there you go. it skips the return animation. But like skipping animations, that's how you break this game, folks. Yeah. All right, so this yeah. one's got nine out of 10. Okay, what's 16. it gonna do? It's gonna go to 59, which is 10 out of 10. It went to 59, and it just stays down here. And yeah, no, it just it just drains me down to 58, doesn't care. Okay, so the auto loading is only for cranes, doesn't care yeah. for the ores. All right, well then keep doing what you're doing. I mean, to be fair, the ores are pretty fast as long as you don't screw up like I did, but that's yeah. okay. Yeah, that happens. Having an extra buffer of ores, like me, yeah. you're gonna screw up at some point in time. So at right. least, like you know, now I don't feel bad about any new screw ups because it's already the the MacGuffin's there. The screw up has yeah. happened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the um, I actually just made a video about this recently, like how the railroads loaded coal. That's a, a whole video on my channel that you should check out from last week, actually. Um, but we talk about like what the Rear Grands and the Rear Grand Southern did, and and the different flavors of coal loading they did, because. We don't load coal like people used to. We use a backhoe because that's what we have and it's easy and it's fast and we built a ramp for it. Uh, but back in the day, it was dudes with shovels or, uh, you know, like a coal tipple or a couple other neat little solutions that were there. But um, sometimes the coal comes in big pieces. You know, you, you hope for a baseball uh, size of your fist for those of you outside the US, you know, uh, maybe a eight centimeter sphere ish. Doesn't matter and that's just sphere, so it burns but... longer uh just so it well so it doesn't burn so long actually like that's the, the small piece Wait, that bigger, bigger burns coal? faster good god oh, dude oh, i have had getting, some you get, you get coal that's bigger than that i thought I you were have... saying that's the coal like the biggest coal no that's for. that's ideal getting that is like great small... some oh. sometimes we get dirt like we've gotten coal loads that had some what we call slack which is basically black dirt that burns um, and we get the, like the baseball, or whatever. coal dust, yeah. The baseball size pieces, which are a deal. Softball size pieces, which are, you know, even bigger than your fist. So, you know, maybe Andre the Giant's fist. <laughs> you know, something that's maybe, um, I don't know if I had to guess, maybe 15 centimeter sphere-ish for those of you in metric land. Uh, something along that order. And and the engines, the little engines, get a little bit more picky about it than the big ones do. Like, 491 doesn't really care. You can put big pieces of coal on her and she doesn't really care all day. Uh, but we've gotten some that are gargantuan. The biggest piece of coal I've ever seen was, like, maybe 15 inches wide, uh, 30 inches tall tall and then like what do you do with that? eight do you inches smash thick it before you like oh you beat it... it you beat it to death with a hammer into little pieces coal breaks apart really easily on, with a hammer. on the train on the like train we we carry a hammer on all the locomotives so that we can actually break the coal into pieces yeah because the the big pieces of coal they burn for longer which is good in some aspects like if you're firing the back corners of the engines which you can't see it's nice to stick one in there to know it's going to burn for a while and you can forget about it. 
Uh, but if you miss with a big piece of coal, you get to stare at this temple to you missing with the coal scoop for potentially an hour, you know, or more, depending on. Uh, so once you throw so, your, your coal into the fire, like, you can't move it. Like, that's it. There's no... I mean, so we do have fire rakes that you can stick into the fire and move things around. We do have those, but those tend to incur more problems than they solve. Okay. So generally a bad idea, because if you start to rake the fire and you rotate the coals and, and dig in a little bit and, and flip things up... The fly ash and the non-combustibles tend to fall down and get shook through the grates. And so if you flip them upside down, they end up on top. And then they can actually form what we call a clinker, which is basically ash cement. And uh, that is and a bad plugs, day. Plugs your grates up. Plugs the grates up, uh, and you have to beat them to death with the rake or a long stick or something to break them apart. Um, and thankfully at the museum, I haven't had to deal with terribly many super bad ones. Okay, but like, but your normal are not long, like, you have non-combustibles in every chunk of coal. Yes. It's not going to be pure. And they so fall they, they, away. They always they fall, fall away through. unless you grab the grates, uh, you know, or like grab... They fall, they'll just fall through the grates in a way, or like, they'll get blown out the stack or whatever. Like Yes, it's... unless you start disturbing the fire or you've got really bad coal. Anyways, right. I'm here. I'm on top of your train now, so keep it coming. Another half car. That'll do. Anywhere in there is yeah. fine. And I'll get yeah, your yeah. last car loaded here if you want to cut off and go. Why? Is it? Is it? Did the braking? Are you braking? Yeah. No, is it's that... fine. That's fine. All right. Um, Interesting. I have had at the museum before. Later, the fire baking into clinkers. Later, with the type of coal that we had, we right. got some really bad coal, and I had the whole fire bed. Uh, solidify into one mass and man the next day that was the worst to try and light the engine off that day that was uh, one of my least favorite fire ups but uh, yeah all right we're loaded up here uh, all right I gotta run around yeah you you go run through the Y I'll try and grab your switches and then we'll we'll couple them back in on the other side here but yeah I mean so other than this, this raking coal mine it, is excessively built out. I will it really say. is. Uh, I thought we were going to be here more. It, it has a lot of. You, it has a lot of space for activities. You, you gave me which, a whole episode to build yeah, an entire. Yeah, you know, yard. I was just thinking it would it would maybe take you that long to lay out like two lines, but uh, uh, apparently. Uh, so, I mean, I did figure out how to lay straight track. You're just going to let that true. dunk, yeah. dunk. I mean, I guess fine. you are. That's fine. Cool. Fine. Sold. It did. It did good. <laughs> Still all on the rails. But yeah, other than the uh, other than the rake, like once the coal and everything's in there, it's in there and you can't really move it unless right. the engine moves it for you, which is one of the fun things that you run into. <laughs> How like it's on a metal plate, right, with like grates or something? Yes, so yes, but it doesn't really, it wouldn't really slide around very much then. It so would, like, you think? Colin, it still does. So you think? So it depends. Guy so, sets all the switches, doesn't even set this switch. Unbelievable. Well, you hadn't run through it yet, ding dong. Okay, bring it ahead once you set your own switch, and then uh, then you'll run through the second lane, and uh, we'll get you on the, the other end of the coal train here. So I've had 491 mess with me real hard with this before, uh, and, and it's based on firebox design and track conditions, basically, is the real answer. So some engines that have smart firebox designs, like the K36, which is a cousin to 491, a K37, have the grates slightly sloped at maybe a five or 10 degree angle all the way. So as the engine works, it rattles down the railroad and everything, everything kind of shakes forward. So you're really tending the back of the fire and the front of the fire- Wouldn't that be easier though? Wouldn't that be like kind of good? No, that's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. good. You only have to really shovel super hard at the back you don't of the have fire. To throw all the way to the front. Don't have to throw all the way to the front as much. Everything kind of shakes forward, and uh, that's that, which is right. great. That's one of the great things about the K36. I have a pin on this, by the way, a pin and link. Oh, you do? Okay. I'll go take them out of this car. Um, K37, the ash pan doesn't have enough airflow through it at the back to really burn super, super hot at the back, so they like to burn at the front to start um and then the fun extra thing is they're flat totally level 
for about two-thirds of the length of the firebox, which is actually longer than the entire K36 firebox, but that's another discussion. Uh, and then it slopes down at a, about a 20 degree angle, steeper angle for the last little bit. So you get the coal most of the way up, it kind of shakes forward. But 491 has messed with me before when we had a, a frog in the track that was pounding pretty hard. Um, wait, wait, a frog? <laughs> we haven't talked about this yet, have we? Uh, like, I'm going to assume a frog is not actually an It is not a, 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 a it's not that kind of frog. It is what? a, that uh, was a frog noise, bruh. It wasn't very okay. good, was it? I'm yeah. just going to say, it's a good thing you're okay. not a voice actor. I'm not even going to try a frog well, noise, but mine would be just as embarrassing, but that was, that was, I feel embarrassed for you, sir. Well, well, brit, brit. well, 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 fine, you do pop, fine pop. con. Anyway, yeah. um, the frog is the point where the stock rails of the switch crossover it looks like a frog got squished right through here what? right where we just ran over right that looks that okay i mean kind of it, kinda, it sure. looks kind of like a frog it, they figured kinda, it out many many moons ago they were not imaginative anyway um the frog was too high and so we were coming through the one leg of the switch uh, and it would pound really hard every time we went through until we fixed it which is later but anyway uh, and so I loaded a basketball-sized piece of coal, big honking piece of coal into the back corner of the 491. Go around the railroad, I check the fire the next time at the bottom of the hill, and the basketball had rolled out of the corner. And it was like, what? Check it the next lap. It had rolled out of the corner yet again. Check it the next... I mean, she rolled it all the way across the 12-foot long firebox to uh, the front by the end. Are you kidding me? This is a this is a little bit of this is a bit of three percent. So it's three percent. Do we not have enough huevos with the Glenbrook to do this? I mean, I could maybe back up and get I'm more. I'm checking the, the the handbrakes right now. I feel oh, like if I man. back up, because it flattens out as soon as we get up onto that. Yeah, that I believe in you. Let's uh, let's back up and like back up far into the yard and get it going scary fast. Yeah, hit, fast hit the hill can. scary fast, and we'll try it again. Before we do that, just in case, Wise, and then if, it, smart. if it screws up, then we'll just um, yeah, we pee in the cup, and then we reload the save, and, and then, then we, we reload. Yeah, un we were we were not going quick into that. I can't. We need a bigger road engine, dude. This we really would, do. Like we really any do. any like, I feel like the two eight zero would just absolutely destroy this. And that, it wouldn't even be... That's that is why the railroads were built on two eight zeros. So yes. You talk about like most of the early and that railroads. extra wheel set, man. That makes all the tractive effort difference, eh? D dude, it's not the tractive effort difference; it's the adhesion difference that allows for the tractive effort difference when you get you know right. that many driving axles. Um, the two eight zero is probably the most common wheel arrangement ever, if I had to guess. Definitely on many railroads. Definitely well, on the narrow like, gauge railroads. Just the right size to give you a lot of power, but not be too big that you can't have tight corners. And it, and it's not super fast or anything. It's not like an express engine. But if you're talking like we need to pull tonnage, you right. want a 280. And that was what the railroads did for a long time. I'm like lined yeah. into that Y right now. No, it's fine. You're yeah, it's fine. You are, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. You just gotta yeah, get some it's runway. All, it's all pretty much the same distance anyway. You will derail uh, equally I'm gonna, I'm gonna, on yeah, straight I'm versus cornered. So. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, give it a good. Give it the beans. Give it the wood. Yeah, give it the beans. I don't give know, it the man. heat. I don't, what's the? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's do some math real quick. You got the tractive effort, right? So oh yes. Is, let me let me get my spreadsheet here. One of these is twenty-two thousand pounds. Oh, that's just the load. Just the low is 22,000 pounds. Oh, good God. Plus okay. the 13,002. So it's basically 35,000 pounds a car. Yeah, I've got... Eight I've cars. Got... So we're 280,000 pounds. Yeah, ish. coal loaded is 35, 274. Let's see, times eight. Uh, it is 282,000. Yeah, 192 pounds total. Uh, here I am with 280 is a close number. Man, I was, you know... 282, yeah, you're off by 2,000. A whole oh, ton, con. Yeah. Fired, fired, fired. Uh, so the Glenbrook is only good for 164.322 on a 3%. Uh, it wouldn't even be good on a 2%. You'd have to be less than a 2% to make this work. Uh, so we're down a bit. So we need to, we need to haul the mail 
get as fast well, as we can. I'm and, full and... regging it right now. So if this doesn't work, we'll just have to. We should have left. The, we should. We should have left the, the climax. Helper. Yeah, I didn't realize we that. Need, we just need another class forty-eight to be sitting in this thing for people right. to help out. Maybe we should we have another helper up here. up here in this shed to help people get back out of the coal mine if they need to. Yeah, because on three percent, the Glenbrook's only good for one hundred sixty-four thousand. Class forty-eight wouldn't even do this. It's only good for two hundred twenty-five thousand. Uh, so what about like a, a two eight zero? Oh. The class seventy could do it with ease. Three thirty-four nine seventy-five. I don't have the cookie two eight zero in my spreadsheet yet because I've never owned one in the game. Uh, uh. So, yeah. Anyway, Climax could handily do it too, of course, but I mean, that's uh, it's Climax, so what else is new? Yeah, the Climax is kind of a beast. Oh, Alright, we is. got some speed this time. Keep it wide open, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not touching it. I, I believe in us now, maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. If we can just make it to that one section where it flattens out a little bit, and then it goes up a little bit more after that, but then but it, then goes, it down. goes down right after that, so... yeah. Just have to see how long it goes. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to get a helper. Yeah, which uh, which will add a little bit of time, but that's okay. Of all of the grades that we were going to struggle with today, I was not anticipating it to be the leaving the coal mine grade to be yeah, the problem. Yeah, I forgot that we made this a 3%, so it's like, even if it was 2, though, you're saying, Look, we just need a bigger road engine. That's a problem. Yeah, Glenbrook, Glenbrook is beautiful. I love the model in the game. Daniel did such a fantastic job making it, but uh, at the end of the day, it is still a very small little old engine from 1875. Yeah, we're, pulling, we're pulling bigger trains than these engines were designed to do, I think. Is yeah, the Glen, issue. Glenbrook was not designed to do this. It was designed yeah. to be, you know, more mixed service as a 260. So, all right. Well, I'm going to go grab the Climax, I guess, dot JPEG. You want to grab the Climax, or do you think you could just grab the Class 48? I could grab the 48. I'd have to fire the 48 up, but I guess that's It'll probably It'll be faster no getting here than the Climax is my thought, though. Oh, that's very true. Uh, so I went to the Iron Mine first because I clicked the wrong thing. But yeah, let me uh, let me put some wood in the hole, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll be right there. All right. Well, I'll just wait for you. Yep. All right, Khan, I'm almost there. I can't see you, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm vaguely I'm, where you stalled. Uh, it's it's like coming up right around this corner. Just slow down. Okay. I'm oh, on the I back see you now. I see you now. Last 48. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually Oh, look, you've appeared. This. Hey, look at that. I've been here this whole time. Hey, you and the lamps have reappeared. The lamps hey, are that's back. That's true. We have lamps yeah. again. That's, yeah, that's great. Um, let me put the bar up, and then you're going to just... Yeah, perfect. Ease her back. Ease her back. Dunk. Excellent. All right. And then should be good with this switch all right pull excellent we're moving oh, again yeah. a wonderful sign oh, yeah now you're gonna have to like drop off before me go left up the switch and right I'm gonna go right, right so you get off the track oh i gotta say okay so last time i complained about the glenbrook only having three chefs per rev but this one is four the, oh. the goat's correct and i guess my commenters are saying the other engines are correct so it's just the glenbrook that's broken which is weird but well, that's cool. Well, I honestly don't even hear it. I well, just hear, like, chuff, 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 Well, chuff, you know, chuff, when you I work on these chuff, things, chuff, this is, uh, chuff, 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 chuff. it would be like the sound of a Honda Civic coming out of my GTO. Oh, are you to, talking, to you? Are you talking so, about, like, the Honda Civic with or without the playing card and the exhaust, though? Doesn't matter. Either one. Because the ones that, the Either guys that put the playing card egregious. and the exhaust to make it go like, man, 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 man. Yeah, those so. are the real, those are the real Civic guys. Those yeah. are the. Yeah. I used to All right, this is flat, it's so fine. you can probably, I don't know, actually. Probably leave you? It's fine. Probably. Right, this is flat, and then it goes up a little bit. So I don't know if I'll have enough speed on this. I might okay. not. Well, go uh, let me know. Let me know, and then I'll come back. Yeah, I'm still full reg. You're barely pulling away from me, so. Yeah, you seem like you're doing okay. I do have to stop and get the switch, though, or slow down and get the switch. Yeah, this does. I know this, like, it's 3% mostly from the coal mine, but this is where there's that, like, plateau, so it does flatten out. This is probably only, like, 1% or 2% here. Oh, oh yeah, boy. I'm catching up. No oh, problem. boy. Oh, boy. All right. Hopefully, I roll down the switch. I got the switch. Uh, okay, don't flick it. Don't ah! flick it. I flicked don't. it. I flicked it. It's, uh, it's fine. It's, um. Heist. No, it's fine. It's fine. Heist. I don't know. I didn't see anything. The tender, the ten, put, that, put that brake on that Con, car. The tender. Con, back up. 
heist, though the tender is messed oh, up. The tender it was back on the track briefly on my end. No, that's it, very the sad. Tender, the tender, the 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 this look, is why we look, can't the, have. Look, the tender's fine. I don't know what you're on about. Heist things, I heist. don't. This why? This is why we can't have heist things. This is that's why what you we mean. never yes. have nice things in our house. Dunk. You know, it's in just, our house, we share a house. Do you can't tell All people right. that. Con, you can't say we're roommates. People don't know that. No, we're not roommates, though. You but you just in, like, said in our house. Wait, this, that's a why do you, what, oh, why, this, why, why, oh, why this goes you, backwards. Oh, why did you oh, turn the brake on? No, the, thought, everything's still on the grade, you ding dong. I thought it was going to go forward. If I thought it was bruh, off the grade. My bad. Bruh, I wrote, okay, we're coming bruh. back. Now, coming you're back. Gonna, now you're going to have to try and start this crap with the Glenbrook that's on the grade. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> you're going to have to shove back, and I'm going to have to help you over, and we're going to have to take two engines. I, I don't know. No, no, you're good. You're good. We get it. Yeah. Uh, and look, look this at this. Grade is, hey, this grade is hey, pull ahead, oh. bruh. Well, it's the double Lincoln pin. I had the Lincoln pin. Yeah, so did this. Pin. Now bring it back. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Dunk. Sorry, All right. It. Watch this. Watch Son this. Son breaks off here. I've got two more brakes to turn off because y you made me very scared. The cars are rolling away. Okay. All the brakes are off. What wavos do you have, Glenbrook? Come on. <laughs> no, I believe no. in you. I believe in you. No, I don't. No, I don't believe in you at all. No, I don't have the wavos. All right, we're going back. All well, right, then let's, back it up, and then we'll try, try this, this whole maneuver again. Yeah. Well, we need to. We needed more separation. We didn't have enough yeah. separation prior to the yeah, switch. Yeah. That was uh, so. Uh, a yeah. little dangerously. It's fine. Yeah, it was a little close. We just need. Actually, you know what? I might be able to get it too if I just back down onto this slow part and you just stay up there. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm already here, so. It's true. Got I got it. We got to go back for enough then, I guess. Yeah. All right. Go. You got it. Yep. Picked in. Pinned. Okay. I'm gonna go full forward. Okay. We probably won't start until we hit this like shallower grade where the uh, the dirt is here. The right. Fill. Right. All right. And then once it gets onto the concrete improvements on the steeper grade again. Don't worry, we'll we'll figure this out at some point. It'll it'll be coordinated. It's and like a, a locomotive Dutch drop. Doesn't yeah, make a whole lot of sense, honestly. It makes more sense if you were a helper pushing, which right, you know, a pusher rather than this. So yeah. we're up to speed ish. Right. So go, I'm gonna cut off. off. Yeah, go, 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 go. Um, go. and I'm gonna just stay I'm gonna in. Down. I'm gonna try to use the non UI controls and make that All happen. Right, that. Switch flicked. Locomotive okay, derailed. It's beautiful. That. QMA, your code is bad and you should oh, feel and bad. It, and, then, and then the best part is it derailed and then it still flicked the switch back. I'm just going to back up and get a run at it myself from the flat okay. spot. Okay. Okay. Let's, um... the, switch, the switch auto switching is amazing, but also But it's terrible. also very bad. Yeah. It's like it, it, is, it is constantly messing with our Dutch dropping capabilities. Yeah. If we yeah. had less jank switches, we could be more jank railroaders, and that's just something. Well, we just to be need to push. Honestly, you just for. need to be behind me and push instead of pull. Well, if you could make it into the siding, um, yeah, I, could I know be that behind you. Could, you. Well, you yeah, yeah, but, I, know. I um, understand that. I under, yeah, I understand yeah. the logistics. Can you imagine running into this problem on a real railroad though? Like Dude, you just like we like, need that locomotive <laughs> over there, but we can't and, get it around until it's so, dragged. I so up. any of these moments on the real railroad where we have like an annoying thing that inconveniences us for like maybe five minutes in the game anytime you have that crap happen on the real railroad oh my god it's like oh yeah this 12 hour shift just became a 30 hour shift great let's figure it out everybody yeah it's uh just it's not fun figure out how to do it without destroying everything without destroying anything and like Think of where we are right now. Imagine, okay, well, Freight Depot's home, and we got to make it back to the Freight Depot as a crew tonight. Okay, and we're stuck over here, and we can't make it over the hill. Right. That means we're not going home until we make it over the hill and figure it out. Okay. Well, we could just, you know? we could just double this hill, realistically. We, we could. We could. That might be the next thing to try. <laughs> that would be the next thing to try if this doesn't work. I, I am full reg now. I went down to the flat spot there, and I picked up. I think I'll have enough you speed. You look like you're going decently quick. Yeah. yeah, I just need to get past the switcher. You re-railed that, class 48? Yeah, yeah just... it's back on up here. We'll leave the it there. We'll come pick it up and put it back at the coal mine later as a pusher helper to help people get I out. I think that's the best case. And it looks like, yeah, yeah you, you've got enough speed. I'm going to jump on with you. Yeah, I'm going to hit the flat here. Uh, you're in the UI, but you are staring back into the sunset there, friend. 
it's Bro, a I can scary. drive a locomotive backwards. That's how good I am. I just, That's... I don't even look where I'm going. I just pull the bars in the opposite direction the, from behind the, me. You the know? funny thing is, it, you say that, but like, thinking People of how that. your arm would have to move to even make that work in half the locomotives I work on <laughs> doesn't, doesn't work out. They're not very right, ergonomic. So This is flat now. Okay. Flat, new uh, track. A beautiful, beautiful piece of engineering you can see here just to get the uh, bridge to go under the other bridge. New, new track, oh. who dis? I like this. Yeah, it's always, it's always nice. I did put a telegraph station here just to, Okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to continue looking to the right uh, because uh, somebody earlier hinted at something off to the other side and I don't want to stare at it for as long as I possibly oh, can. Just, look at that. This is beautiful. This is amazing. It says it's beautiful and amazing and I'm going to pan the camera. I'm going to pan the camera and pan the camera even, and... What the, the hell so, is this? You can't even no. see No! No! So good! No! It's so no. good! It's no! No! Now, here's no. going to be we only have a hundred meter leads, so no! if the train is longer than a hundred meters, we're actually screwed. But I don't think it is. I think it'd be good. <sighs> it's eight cars. I think eight cars is like hundred meters. There may be ten meters a piece. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I did some. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna stand at the estimate. switch, ready for you to stop, and you're gonna run off the end of the track, and I'm gonna laugh oh, right, at your, no, your no, it's, folly. No, no, it's zero percent. It's zero percent here. You are lined the other way. Oh, you got plenty of space, bro. Oh, I could fit another two cars space. at least, two three cars. Okay, well you I know, guess we're are, gonna. These are all these are all zero percent. So like Bruh. I made two percent in between each switch, Bruh. right? But then it's zero percent on each lead. If yeah. you if you if you just made a roller coaster, we could be there already. And here we, we are. Could. This is seven Switch layers. Switchbacks are good. No, <laughs> we could go. No. We could have got off this. It would have been so much easier. Would it have been? Would it have oh, been? Look at how amazing this looks, though. Like, Do you, you know how long it would have taken us look to run around? Can you imagine the steel bridge budget for this railroad to build this? Like this is uh, an insane steel bridge budget. Yeah. The, the insane is steel. Okay, I legitimately cannot fathom the fact that you actually built this. Like, this is so much work, Con. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I've never built switchbacks before, and everyone keeps bugging me. They were like, hey, man, why don't you build switchbacks? And then 10 hours later, I was like, this is why we don't build switchbacks. Mm hmm. But, like, I'm gonna, you know what? This is, like, the real. This Dude, is the real okay, so we're, we're, we're gonna. We're person. gonna have to. We're gonna have to, like, get as many cars as physically possible and figure out which engine is the worst on a 2% uh, hint. I think it's Betsy. Actually, it's pretty close between probably Betsy and Eureka. Montezuma. Actually, probably the Eureka. Now, nah, Eureka actually still out pulls Betsy and Montezuma on the 2%. On uh, It's not until, let's see, 5% that they start to even out. I think it's six percent that Those Eureka loses. Below us. You like yep. how I love the fact that in working on this, I tried to make all of them like the layers overlap, so like you can see all the other. Like we're not even, we're not anywhere close. <laughs> I can appreciate your your time and effort and artistry that went into this con. Um, I cannot to, appreciate. Oh, there are stoppers. Every everything does have a stopper. I cannot so. appreciate the stupidity that goes into the like okay so yes we have all these switchbacks and they have 100 meter leads which is great uh -huh. and we've got this eight car train that fills up some of it so we could pr presumably do a 12 10, 10 we could do 10 or 12 cars yeah how What's is that better than running up the 10 percent we already have where we've already oh it's not it's just everyone keeps asking for a switchback so i decided uh, to so the masses so but hey, i told you this is more track than our entire railroad i would spot. believe that this is ridiculous yeah, I can't even get a good camera view of it with while I'm trying to drive here. Yeah. It's just like... Yeah. Hey, so everyone. Would, okay, so you build a switchback. Normally, if you were to build a switchback, I'm assuming they cut them into the mountains so you're not building 80 million bridges. Cause, well, like, I mean, that that's that's good. everything that Railroad did. That's like that's probably the biggest inaccuracy of Railroads Online is not using cuts because using right. cut cuts are grade. easier than like fills and everything else right like you think but about then how driving it goes, down a but... switchback like right now i'm no regging it and just letting it coast like is that what you would do you just let it coast i mean if you're going down oh. a two percent grade i mean it depends on the era right like are we in the straight era era are we in the automatic error era or are we in the uh you know the no error era it's very different right so like you'd have brakes tied and you'd be in tension in the no era era in right. the modern era that I know with automatic air, I mean, I would just be setting up whatever I would need to go down this in a 2% grade. I mean, that's like easy sauce to go down. I'm used to 4% all the time. You uh, know what I love about so. this? We're only on the second layer of like seven. 
and and like it is it, how pretty. much further this go look at this look at it keeps going around the mountain here i like i do like this layer this is actually everything really pretty. everything is like 60 meter curves minimum so i am no, like con, really tight i'm giving you i'm giving you some points but at the end of the day the fact that there are only 100 meter head chunks on either side like yeah uh, which, so we're gonna do like maybe 12 cars which is like the whole point of doing this would be so like Okay, we can run a thirty car train up this, but we're still gonna have to do it in sections. Oh, we could, well, couldn't we just couldn't we just section it like at each stage? Then why the heck were we not going up a ten percent grade in sections that's half the length of this? Quarter, that's a good a, question. A, a, I don't know. A, a, a I mean, I could. I could to this. be fair, to be fair, I could Dies. easily, if we wanted stop. to. I'm trying to stop. If we wanted to, though, to be fair, Heist, I could take all these hench shuds and just make them a little longer. That is that is an okay. easy enough change okay. to make. That that's probably that would probably be ideal. Because all the switches are set now, right? So now that all the switches are set, I just picked a hundred meters because I was like, I need a number. Just an easy okay. All. That's that's. So I was like, all right, a hundred meters, but I could easily just extend the head shunts out. There's tons of space to like make the bridges longer, make them two hundred meter okay. head shunts. So and then, so there there will be a purpose for this at some point. We could but... we could expand it. Yeah, it depends on how much it gets used. You know, right now it's a very expensive project that management said we had to do. And <laughs> it's, it's, we're not sure how the payout's going to work yet. Too real, bro. <laughs> yeah, management was like, we want to switch back. And I was like, okay. Have, have eight. Like, so we need you to layers. build a switch back here. And I was like, okay, at what grade? And they're like, 2%. And I was like, okay, well, that's going to end up being apparently eight layers. And they're like, well, that's fine. And so that's what it's, I did. Um, it's but, fine. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Um, it looks it looks really nice though. It, it looks it looks crazy. The scenery is cool, and and the fact that you continue the layers pretty far actually makes it pretty cool. And it's always neat to have multiple layers of track in the same scene, quote unquote, that you can see. Um, but good God, this is this some is, model railroading though. This is model this is this is back. this is just some operational nightmare. Like, yeah. I know is, you were uh, saying you have that small bottle railroad in your house, all right? What you need to do is start getting into bigger bottle railroads. And you know how people make like levels of bottle railroads that usually run around like the outside of their room? Yes. You need to make a, like an upper and a lower level. And the only way to get a train from one to the other is with a massive switchback. Con? Just have, just have Con, a wall. I'm going to let you I'm going to let you in on a little secret about people who play with model trains. They don't like switchbacks? No. We like to sit there, drink beer, and watch our trains go around in a circle while we talk with friends. Oh, you don't actually. If there's a, I mean, it. we will. You do operate, and we do operate here and there. That's maybe ten or twenty percent of the time. The rest of the time it's, is. It's so, much, it's so much different in the RC world. We're like constantly engaged, and drinking makes RC bad. Oh, well, that, that's fair. That's fair, and it makes sense. But like most of the time is spent hung out with friends, and it's like okay. Sometimes it's fun to like okay, we're gonna do an op sessions and move these cars and figure out these things and run the railroad. But a lot of times it's fun to just be hanging out, and it's when you'd like oh we're not when you'd be doing oh we're gonna run the railroad together. It's just like no, we're hanging out and shoot man, we could run some trains and watch trains do stuff. And so there is a very decent aspect of many railroads where it makes sense to try and plan for trains going around in circles or in dog bones or in something like that. Gotcha. Uh, not everyone's like that, but but many are, and it means that things get used more. You run the railroad more often when it's not a, oh, well, we have to plan this op session and we have to do this whole thing, and it's a, it's a whole show to make happen, you know? You know what's so. the best part about this heist? What? Which we didn't even talk about. We can deliver the lumber products now to the coal mine via this. I don't know if that's the best part, Con. I really don't. No, we can go up this. We could we could next episode we could go up the whole thing with like twelve plank cars. You Great, know? so we can do that with Betsy? Cool. I, I mean I guess. Yeah. Cool. Or could... we could take the climax and take the same weight, actually more weight up to ten percent. Right, but that's not as fun, Heist. You see, we're, we're all about the fun and the experience. I you know? fail to see how this is more fun. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know what you're talking about. We've moved, like technically speaking, we've only really moved 200 feet this entire time because we've come down 200 feet from that rail up there. Not you know? in elevation, in position, and now we've moved 300 feet, and uh, in about five minutes we'll have moved 200 moved feet again feet. because yeah, that's how perfect. this works. Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, I respect Dude, I, you know, and I, love I the amount of work that went you, into this, like, but 
<laughs> the amount of time it took to like lay out all the foundation and then deal with the fact that foundation doesn't float on foundation anymore and then it, and i know it's you probably don't notice much but like all the switches they don't because they have that switch foundation which doesn't go down far enough so i had to put custom foundation under yeah every no you you custom made all look. of this this is yeah. like dude don't get me wrong uh this is awesome amount of effort and engineering and time by you i i love and respect that i hate the idea hate in general back. bring him back i don't like oh Switch i'm backs, trying to bring I him mean, back i'm going to bonk hard here oh that's fine oh um i saw the end car stop pretty violently is everything okay uh, out there that was that was oh uh, that's a that's a oh it's just it's pulling oh, oh, cars, pulling oh my god, car. it's the longest oh derailment! My... Come on! Oh, no. Come on! Drug the next car over! Come on! Oh, oh my god, god. here's your <laughs> cup, sir. Um, you know what? You know what, though? You can't stop me from doing this, and you're just not. You're just not stopping me from doing this. Hey, what? look, the hopper's down here now. Ha ha! Ha ha! What switchbacks? But now yep. it's in the it's in the way. We That's to... fine. We'll shove it. We'll put it on the other end. Oh my god! It's fine. No, I got I got I got It's gonna be all. faster. It's fine. Okay, there it is. Oh my god! I can't believe how hard I bonked that. Con, there are brakes. They do exist. I do dude, I was to use full them? break. Full you break. binned this. This is the biggest bin we've had yet, <laughs> and it's from you, everything. not from me. It was just I was getting shoved by like. It was 20 eight cars, cars and I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. we need it. Okay, hold on. I gotta. Um, hold on a minute. Do I have space? I might have to do some shoving here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw. I knew when I was when I was getting there, the bonk was going to be aggressive. That was uh, that was a violent uh, bonk, and I only caught the end of it. And as I was walking up, I was watching the cars spiral off, and the links were pulling the next cars off. Yeah. So and I'm I was assuming... actually for three quarters of a second, uh, like impressed by railroads online physics. So we're gonna take this day as a win. That would happen in real life, right? Like one car. Oh would god, just pull yeah. Couplers pull. like. Uh, until you get bypass, the couplers will pull things off. Because ultimately, even, like, proper? Are they they properly like I can push back into them. You can, yeah. You, I've, I've got the links. Yeah, getting that figured out. So yeah, you, you can shove back. You're good to shove back through these. Yeah, dude, I was yeah, yeah. I was literally full speed in reverse. I couldn't even like. Well, you just came in super hot. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. It's a that's a good peak up moment there, friend. Dude, that I'm, was, I'm proud uh, of you. Was, I am proud was, of you for ES and being that hard because that's. That's stuff yeah, I that strive was... for, and you just excelled in that field for the the briefest moment there. No, you, I'm, you oh, know, I'm not you, back you're, you're you are the engineer there, friendo. Yeah, I'm going. So... I'm going to get. I'm going to get my other car out of the way. I don't want to run into it because I'm going to forget that it's there, and then I'm going to come down at full speed, and we're going to be doing this all over again. The other car out of the way. The ones that you re-railed down on the. Oh, are you kidding me? We're not going to save. Oh, con. Fine. Fine. No, we fine. don't need to save fine. time. It doesn't fine. save. It's just going to kill us fine. later. I'm going to run into it at fine. full speed later, and it's going to be a problem. Fine. Look at this guy trying to prevent hilarity. Okay, fine. Oh, it's not preventing hilarity. It's just it's saving future trauma, sir. <laughs> I will be out of pee by the end of the day if I have to do more events. Uh, that's, uh, you, you, you do sound like you've worked on the railroad con. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. All yeah. right, we good? Yeah. Uh, this is double linked and pinned. Uh, uh, okay, so, so get that one off. Bring that it back. Good. Did you you real? There's, there's still one more car down there, but we don't have space for it. So if you want to bring them back, there we'll put these. There? There's one more. Yeah. So bring them back, oh. and we'll. Uh, uh, you can, as host, you might be able to put it on the end if you rerail it all that's the way to the what, end. That's what I'm thinking. I might be able to jam it on the yeah, end. Yeah, just here. jam it on the end. I can't do that as a client because I'll be too far away. Man, we would have we would have lost all of this coal. All we would have had coal. three cars of coal left. We, we would have had drunk coal gremlins after this one. Yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> would have only had three cars of coal. That would have been brutal. Okay, there we go. All right, bring them right. back, and I'll I'll get all your pins. Dude, on it is. It and... takes a lot of effort to slow down and we're not even moving very fast but to slow it down in the 100 meter lead track like i guess this is why switchbacks in real life suck you have to like time you know know how long it's going to take your train to break at the end of the day i mean yeah you have to be able to stop and theoretically the idea of switchbacks is not bringing loads down it's bringing empties up although i say that and the the switchback 
I say but how would you get wouldn't, Look, they, wouldn't they use a switchback where there's only like it's the rail in both directions though well like, yeah so so you'd be bringing uh you'd be bringing loads up and empties down is ideally right based on weight what makes the most sense and i say that but my favorite drunk rio grande uh did the opposite they at the monarch mine all right you're all pinned in all the way back uh, Monarch Mine was a limestone mine in Colorado, uh, a little bit of ways away from Salida. And they would run up to Monarch with the empties, high side gondolas to fill with limestone. And then they would run up the hill with the empties and usually had like two engines operating it uh, with two sections and stuff. And, and the footage of it's really cool because they ran it late with steam. Uh, later standard gauged it, but anyway. Uh, and then they'd bring the, the loads down. So I, I say it would make more sense to do this. And then my favorite drunk railroad uh, did their own thing, of course. But I did, uh, I had a friend of mine on Discord show me some footage of that darn rotary barrel transfer that we talked about. The one that flipped the cars upside down a couple oh, yeah. weeks back on the on the oh, show. We just, we just did that here without the rotary transfer. Oh, we we did it without the rotary transfer, but uh, it wasn't uh, planned or organized or anything. So it was a little bit of entropy there. But um, I guess uh, Greg Scholl, who makes a lot of productions about the narrow gauge stuff, uh, has a third division DNRGW video. That's a DVD that you can get. Uh, but there's a preview for it, and it shows just a couple snippets of the, uh, the Monarch Mine switchback and also the rotary transfer at Salida, which was what ultimately the limestone went to. Uh, and oh it was... I'm, I'm so dumb. Super cool to see. Anyway, how are you uh... dumb? <laughs> okay, what, what, so... Um, did you uh, not have the air I, compressor on? No, 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 that's not the issue. I built the switchback, okay? There mm -hmm. are seven switchbacks. Okay. Now, why is seven oh, switchbacks Oh, we're going to be ending up shoving the rest of the way because we you end didn't up backwards use an even number. Coming out of this... I need an because eight you back. are the engineer that put the oil filter in a very stupid place on most modern cars. Yeah, so I have actually it. I have a scar on the back of my right hand because the oil filter on my first car was in a terrible spot, oh, and God, to get it out, really? you ended up destroying the back of your hand on this piece of frame metal. So, yeah, I, I, no, I, I, poke I get fun. that. That's I poke fun. That's that's literally what this is. I I can't believe I built seven. I need an eighth switchback right you at the do, very we're bottom. We're gonna have to do one more, I guess, or delete one and change the grade. All right, we're lying. No, I'm not changing the grade, bro. I'm not doing two percent down ninety percent of the hill, and then <laughs> three being like, oh, we're doing three at the, the end. No, Fine. like really, all I need to do is when we get to the flat section of ground, just have one final lane that you can, or even it doesn't even need to be a lane. It could just be a Y, right? And you just go with a with a passing track. Yeah, yeah, that would work. Because there's plenty. You'll see when we get down there. There's gonna be plenty of flat ground. But I can't believe I screwed that up. I put, I made seven. We're gonna shove. That is, that is one of those fun things that you find when you when you test Whoops. things out. That's funny. And and I, I can... never even thought of it until we just we. Uh, and then I realized we're gonna end up backwards, which is obviously stupid. So I give a lot of crap about the oil filter thing, but my GTO, which is 1968, very old. Uh, the oil filter comes down so close against the exhaust pipe and header that I can't use an end cap filter wrench. I have to use one of the strap type that goes nice. around it. And I pull it off and it dumps oil all over the header every time. And there's no nice yeah, that's, way to that's do good. it. That's good. That's always a good good, yeah. good thing to do. It's just, uh, just, uh, just the way it goes. Thanks. Thanks, Pontiac. So if we were going... Okay, so we've been going down. So obviously every time we go down the switchback, our, our engine alternates from being on the front to the back to the front to the back. Yeah. Right. And if you go up, it's the same thing. You shove half the time, and you push, you pull half the time. Yeah. And that's just exactly, and and you just you know make sure your rolling stock's good for it, right? Like, typically freight rolling stock was all kind of set up for those forces a little bit better than the passenger rolling stock. Um, but it, it you know it just depends really. You want to make sure that you're not going to cause an excess of anything with it. So, a lot of the a lot of the rolling stock that went up the Monarch Mine switchback ended up with some amount of reinforcement or uh, additional engineering as opposed to stuff that just went over the road. Uh, and then you compare that to passenger, and it's like some of the Rio Grande cars got steel reinforcement, not just wood frames, but steel reinforcement, and many of them didn't. And so it's like okay. To this day, you can bring them back. You lined. Um, oh, yeah, this... I've been breaking since like we before. Oh, we I'm, got I'm off sure. I'm sure. But I'm telling you that you're lined now, so you're safe to bring them back. 
Um, yeah, this is this is actually I need to put 200 meter leads on this, and then I need to also put another switch back. Now we're shoving the rest. Right, of the way. Like, you're gonna shove the stuff. rest of the way to the <laughs> ironworks. The coal it's fine. to the the ironworks. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, everybody. Um, so yeah, I definitely, I definitely need another, another switchback at the far end there, which I could easily, I'll, I'll yeah. do, definitely do that. And I'm, I'm honestly, I'm probably just gonna make another switch. I mean, there's no reason to not just do another switchback rather than a Y. It's less complicated to just switch back one more time. Even exactly. Pretty, yeah, yeah. I mean, a y, a y would be more annoying, but definitely, um, yeah, a setup like that would make the most sense. So, yeah, that's what I would do too. Yeah, um, like right here, you can see on the far side there, we're going to loop all the way around now, and then we're going to get to a bridge that's kind of above oh, the Oh, yeah, fortress. you could you could just do one more walk, one more switch, switch back, back there. And then, and then cut off some of the railroad there, yeah. Yeah, and you'll see. Like, it's it's a pretty self-explanatory. I totally forgot. I, I built it. I was like, oh, and then I got to this final part. I was like, oh, thank God. I'm close enough to the ground. I can just 2% it the rest of the way. And, you know, but like, yeah, like realistically right here on this mountain, oh. it should have another switch. So you did build from the top down for this, huh? Yeah, you had to, because otherwise you weren't gonna like be able to hug the terrain. See, effectively. see, at the start of the series, you were saying you like to build from the up or build from well, the bottom up. Well, if it's ten percent line, then yeah. But if it's two percent down, then no, because this is stupid. And well, uh, everybody who plays this game except us does two percent down or three percent maybe. So oh, you know, gosh. tips important. I, I have yet to see somebody build a redonkulous switchback like this, though. This is, like, this, excessive to the this, max. This is. I, I will give you that, Con. I've seen a lot of stuff built in this game. This yeah. is the first utterlessly pointless, stupid, oh, ridiculous, Oh, no, you're not going to say that. You're not going to say that when I, put, when I put 250, 300 meter leads on this thing, and then we're Con? doing 30 meter Con? trains up to I, I will. I will bet you some some dollars, some dollar you dues. But you'll still do it? We're going we're gonna to have to do a race. We'll oh, do a, a race. A, one way versus the other? A, a race from the Freight Depot, one way versus the other. Maybe, I don't know, similar speed engine, if not the same engine. Making sure we can both do the tonnage or whatever. The, we can do the same engine, but you need to get the helper. And right. I don't. And so the helper, and, and I got to stop and pick sure up the helper and everything. Yeah. We have to make sure the load tonnage is accurate. Yeah. Because so so making sure that we can do the, the tonnage that, over but, either way. Yeah. Like, right. But what makes the switch back good is let's say we have 20 cars to do. You have to double the hill where I don't. That's the point, right? Like that's sort of the. Well, so right now you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't do a, a double right now. Just saying. Well, no, I'm going to. I'm going to make it 200, 300 meters. So, so make it bigger, make it longer, so you can do more tonnage. Um, we could even put do. Switch back on it. We could even do like given the same amount of cars, like we could do it faster or whatever. Yeah, we have need to more double money though, or too. whatever. We gotta. Well, we'll get there. That'll be a later episode. You know, let yeah. us know if you want to see us do that because. Head yeah, to, head I, to be fun. honest, I don't really want to work on the switchback right now. Um, uh, you, you've probably burnt out on working on the switchback, yeah? Yeah, I, I, I need a little bit of a break before I get back to working on the switchback again. Yep. Um, yeah. But I do I do need to put another switchback on it because this whole shoving the rest of the way is kind it's of stupid. It's a little silly. Yeah, Yeah, and if we were to go shove. up this way, we'd end up shoving to the coal mines, which is also stupid. So, yeah, uh, it should be yeah, even, a little bit. even numbered. And not odd numbered that way. Yeah, but uh, I don't. I don't. I honestly didn't. I don't know. In all my makes time a, working on it, I makes didn't, a bit of a difference. Didn't want to think about that? That's one of those things, man. And that's that's why it's like it's so weird doing engineering things and even being like, you are a good engineer. You're somebody who's been there, done that. You've worked in the industry. You've figured these things out. And a lot of things in engineering come down to. Well, even this good engineer didn't think of this, yet? right? Does it come up yet? I don't. Nope, I still don't see a switch. So, oh, but yeah, well... even a good engineer will will miss like a, a straight ahead. Oh, this makes sense. You shouldn't do that kind of thing. Well, I never I never tested the the track. There it is. Just... All right, we're lined to the left. Is that correct? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. We want to go to the ironworks. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. Eventually, so, I put that other switch there because that other switch will just break off and go to the oil refinery at some point. Oh, we, so it'll we be passed like, that a while back. If that was the one you yeah. made, but yeah, yeah, that was the that was the point of that other switch. I just built it into the track. But now I had a feeling that's another, what it was. But yeah, because that's the that's the one industry we no we haven't built to the oil field either. But no, we'll, we'll add another switch in. Oil, but the yeah. oil field is literally just like a, a switch. It's, a it's y just off there. This. 
off this line. We, and then we actually there, built like... to it using nothing but switches in my last save. So yeah, it's... hang on. I gotta line you to. The... I guess it doesn't matter because we can rotate. We gotta but we're but we're already aimed out. So I'm gonna put us towards the unload so that we have a better time. I think. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter either way, but yeah. This yeah, is, uh, but but if we kept sh if we kept shut, we, I mean, we would have a longer pull that just way. Just keep turning around. Yeah. Just eventually turn around the, the this other is way. this is less wear on the engine, and I'm saving the company okay, like fair. five fair. cents. Okay. True. <laughs> how much money? How much money are you gonna make, company? That's the I question. I have eleven oh five. We got eight cars. I think they're two hundred dollars a car, so we should make sixteen hundred bucks. So we'll see. Yeah, Dude, this was this uh, is this uh, was a little perfect. that was that was the slower. best switchback ever. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, a little slower. You're full of crap. I mean, it is the crap, so that's reasonable. But yeah, little little yeah, that's that's pretty good speed right there. Keep that speed if you can. Actually, well, a little faster now. I'll okay, I'll, I'll just I'll shovel a little bit. Yeah, shovel a little bit. Um, yeah, does that car move? Our finish and letting halfway through. I giggle right, when I see 406 because that's the uh, the old number of 346. But anyway, we've given this everything now, so it should start producing. It should. We should be able to grab steel pipes and tools and yeah, things. Yeah, I just and... saw lumber go down. That's cool. Yeah, so so it is happening. So we we could uh, run some trains to the freight depot next time if we feel like it. Yeah, um, or just connect to the oil well and run the oil. Or, or run to the yeah. Actually, that is less of a run than the freight depot. Can you yeah. keep coming a little and faster I... there, friendo? We need. Um, we also need. A, I think the smelter's probably low on iron. I think at this point, and cordwood and stuff. That's probably true. We're gonna have to run many jobs. Yeah. But uh, the if we do the oil field one, that'll probably make us the most money. I want to say tools per car does pretty well, even though like you fill up like one car ever. But... Yeah, we need to buy one car that we're good for life. Yeah, but thankfully uh, we won't have to experience the uh, 1895 crane simulator. 1895 crane simulator is gone. That's true. A uh, little bit of a problem, though, not to burst your bubble, but we are already out of raw iron here, so that's... Uh, uh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 there was a stack, and it is now all gone. And there's still lumber, which is good. Yeah, but this thing takes a thousand coal for some reason, so it's got coal for days. Well, you must have made some money. How much money you got now? Let's see. Everything's unloaded. Um, and yeah, I've got 2305. That's uh, good. So that's 1200 bucks. So yeah, less, so we just need like really. We could but, honestly just yeah. take whatever products come out of the toolworks and sell them, and then like we'd be good to go. Boom, and that would be that. That would do yeah. pretty well, and then uh, be on our way to having a locomotive more powerful, powerful than Glenbrook, which yeah, we need. Is we need funny to that say. Can pull up three percent. It took us so long to get just the Glenbrook, and now it's like, well, yeah, it's not uh, not doing it for us. So anyway, well, think about it though. We're already connected to a lot of the industries. Like we're really. You know, and we've got We're some good there. lines. I mean, yeah. to be fair, Glenbrook would do great bringing these back up to the coal mine up to two percent. We just got to turn right here and just, you and know, just and just go. Dun, 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 yeah, there it is. And it, 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 it'll be seven times. I'm gonna make it eight, and it'll be great. I don't know. All right, uh, we were uh, jokingly hiring for the position of uh, person to switch out the smelter previously or cord loader previously. Right. Um. Yeah, uh, next position, switchback, shunter. Switchback be, be, operator. Be the switchback, man. Yeah. Switchback operator, all you do is just sit there running the switchback. So, yeah, uh, one thing that, speaking of that, that I, I am curious about, and I don't know enough about it, and it's my own railroad, is with the Rio Grande and the way that they ran the switchbacks at Monarch. They had two engines doing it, so it was like they handed the consist off. And so they like would, an engine on either side. Type yeah. Deal? So that like there's a clip in the Greg Scholl clip uh, of his preview of the of the video. The one engine brings the cut of cars up into the switchback, and then there's a second engine on the upper leg ready to go. So it's like they're handing up legs at a time. They've got an engine per switchback kind of thing, and they they hand up these chunks of cars. And you know, I guess that would be a way to do it. You could stepwise like, okay, this engine runs it up this leg. This engine runs it up this leg. And you could, it's like a bucket brigade, but with steam engines. Right. Yeah. So we just need to buy a bunch of shays. And oh, have there is your each. there's your use for a bunch of shays. Right. So we have if we have eight shays, right, and each one's at one leg of the switchback, and then they just pass the cars up 
I know, hate, I hate this idea up. already, but you, I mean, you could run faster than the shade align the switch. So I mean, it makes right, and then you sense. can just have them, and they're they're yes. they're geared enough that they would probably stop. Uh, oh, do you want to just line us into yep. the hump? Line in the sin to at least the inbound, yeah, and then we can yeah. line to the hump from there. But anyway, yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. A little bit uh, longer of an episode because uh, switchbacks are fast. They're super fast. Super fast. And so much better. You guys were super, so super reliable right. yeah, lines. Like but hey, look, we got he's back yep. from the smelter without ever coming back up that way. So that's yep. kind of and cool. we and we definitely didn't derail anything on the way. Like, no, it wasn't we have like a an operational now, so problem. Like... And these cars are definitely in a good place for us to use them again. Like, well, they are, man. This is the this is the hub. This is the hub, man. This is the hub of our railroad. It's the hub. It's the crap hub, and it will always be a great place to you know assemble your trains and set about for the day. So, so you're telling me that the crap hump is the sewer? Yes. All right. On that uh, on that note, uh, it's time to end. So thanks for watching, yep. everybody. Catch y'all later. Bye. Bye.